This is a selling video for the um, Traxxas Z Revo. It's the 8th eight, eight or 10th scale, whatever you like to go by. Traxxas calls it a 10th. I call it an 8th. Um, there are two things wrong with it, and I want to get them out of the way first. And they're not even that, they're not bad, really. First off is, if you look right here, that is the chassis split. And that is because a 5400 milliamp battery, which is 400 milliamps over the normal rated size, it's in there and I was doing some jumping and it actually cracked the chassis because the battery is too big. Um, it doesn't affect performance. Most people say that but I've I've driven it the same as they they, they uh, advertise you can drive it with that and nothing bad has happened. It's not gotten bigger or anything like that. Um, it's going to come with your two servos, your two stock servos. Um, the other thing I want to mention is you're gonna need some screws for the rear skid plate, which is not that big of a deal. I just didn't have anything that fit it. Um, I have some two extra wheel nuts I forgot about that I'm gonna give y'all, give the person buying it. Um, come with a big bag of parts. It's um, an extra new front bulkhead, new hinge pins for all the way around it. There's like eight or ten. There's a lot of them. Uh, two new drive shafts. I'll get to the why you won't need those in a second. Um, three A arms for the front. Get to that in a second too. And then you got um new, brand new, recently out of the package center drive line shafts, which are um in the bag scattered. And then you just got a bunch of miscellaneous parts, screws, little clips, rod ends, stuff like that for Traxxas vehicles. Um, you're not gonna get a motor or ESC or radio. You're just gonna get your servos. Um. Upgrades, I have, what was that, I don't know, um, it's an NTG aluminum rear skid plate that does the job, it's, um, it's take, it's done its job well. Right now the screws that are in it are bent, I'm gonna have to cut them off to get these little spacers out, cause you need those to run this thing. Um, you're gonna get the front ones too, there's right here, you probably couldn't see that, but. It's not that big of a deal. You got the front skid plate. The rear one fits right over this one. Um, you got your CVDs. Um, the, the rear ones have a little bit of bend in them, but it's not much. The only time you can really tell is when you're at high RPMs. It doesn't affect it. You can just visually see it. It's not perfectly sh straight. The front ones are fine. Um, it's got the front RPM A arms, upper and lower on both sides. The rear stock. Oh, what else can I tell you about it? It um, it's a little dirty, but that's not that big of a deal. It's got 70 weight oil in both shocks. It's got 7k. Whoa, what just happened? Sorry guys, my tripod decided to. Okay, there we go. But it's got 7k in both diffs. The rear diffs going out, but so before I ship it to you, I'm going to replace it and put 7k fresh 7k back in um in the front i did the steve sladen steering mod if you don't know what that is it basically just gives you more steering throw it's got five um full caster in the front which means that this is like angled backwards more makes it smoother over bumps um let me think like it does have a body it's gonna come with it's a little beat up but it's done its job well in the front of the body, it's like that, and in the rear of the body, these are gone, but you don't really need that, because I've run it a lot with those not active in the back, and it's worked perfectly fine. You are going to get tires, but you're not going to get the stock ones. You're going to get one full set of Proline Road Rage 40 series tires, and one set of 1.8 scale Truggy Crime Fighter tires, both run 17 millimeter hexes, which is on the E Revo. Um, three of the wheels and the um, for these, the hexes are damaged. But if you tighten the wheel nuts, extreme like not extremely tight, but just normal tightness, they work fine. They just they look rounded out, but you can still make them work. Um, that's about it. They both these I don't run them on road. That's what these are for. Um, so, you're all good with that. I am going to include the 23 tooth. It's a 5 millimeter board. It's designed to f run, fit on this motor or any other 8 scale motor. Yeah, 8 scale motor. 
for um and it's 32 pitch so it's designed for tracks but it's also the high speed gear so you can get more speed the, the normal one was um i had to cut it off because it um the little gear little set screw got stripped out but that um let me think that's all i can really tell you um it does come with a parts i don't i've reshot I've shot this video three times so i don't know if i've talked about this um new front diff one side of the rear diff um new shafts for the center drive line two um outer drive shafts but you won't need those because you got your cvds bunch of miscellaneous screws um new hinge pins for all um, like there's eight or nine hinge pins there's a lot because the way the a-arms are set up um, there's brand new, you got more caster clips just in case you lose some of those. A bunch of little knickknacks you might want. Um, as, f as far as price goes, I'm going to look around to get 225 The reason why I'm selling this is so I can get a, um, a helicopter, more helicopter stuff. Because all right now I just have a micro helicopter, which is, it's not, I can't fly it outside. And my parents don't let me fly it in the living room. But uh, that's another story in itself. But I want to get about 225 for it. Um, really, I'm including the shipping and the price. But I'm looking to take, eat the shipping and get around 200 bucks. Cause this is a heavy kit, and shipping is not. Right now, I'd say it's about six pounds, five or six pounds. And with the tires, the box is going to be at least close to 11 or 12 pounds, and that's an expensive box to ship. I don't know if you'll ship a lot, but that might cost. It's probably going to be around 25 dollars to ship. But um, if you're watching this on a form comment let me know and i'll pm you or you can pm me uh if you're watching this on youtube don't worry about commenting just go ahead and pm me on youtube um that's about it i have some uh, extra wheel nuts i'm gonna send you and um uh, along with all these little goodies and you should be good uh what you're gonna need to make this thing going is your radio equipment your esc your motor um you are gonna need a 17 millimeter hex wrench or um uh, you can just go to AutoZone and pick up a 17mm socket and wrench, and that will work perfect. Um, that's all you're really going to need. Oh, and those screws in the rear for that um, for that skid plate. But that's about it. So let me know if you're interested.